Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radhu Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, October 8th to October 14th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is just a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And this is not your personal reading. Therefore, <clears throat> I will uh, try my best to explain you the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to uh, make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you and to draw cards specifically for your personal situation, to make sense of them, you know, to give you the answer, that is a, a topic of a, a personal reading and uh, therefore for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing guys, the October monthly videos are already out. Uh, you can check them if you like to at my YouTube channel here where you're watching this video and uh, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month uh, there is a extensive multi monthly extensive monthly uh, tarot reading that can be purchased for just dollar forty nine in which we are um, <clears throat> taking a look uh, for the development of the representative star sign specifically about career and relationship. So that set aside, let's see what awaits you here Cancers into the week of October 8th to October 14th. The first position will be about the topic of your week. The second position is about the core of the situation. The third position, that will be the challenges causing predicaments. And the last position, it will be um, the guidance that Taro offers to you. So let's see what we got here now. The first one, that is going to be the strength card. And as I'm always saying regarding uh, the topic and as a general card, the strength is a very, very broad card. Uh, in general, the card says that this week will be very enthusiastic as you are going to find not just the strength, guys, but also the enthusiasm for you um, to kind of like a push a certain devotion of yours. So it, it's, you will find a true calling calling into a, a friendship of yours, into a, a, a career deed of yours, you know, a certain undertaking there, a, a relationship of yours, etc, etc. The strength card here points that um, <clears throat> you should not slow down uh, the, the motion that you are moving forward, but just on the contrary, try to increase it. Uh, you will find it very interesting as well, you know, to work into progress forward with your undertakings, with your projects, you know, uh, friendships or uh, relationships for that matter. But when we're talking about relationship, you need to acknowledge that the strength card has a huge amount of temper within it. Uh, within it. So uh, it will be important for you to be very balanced. Otherwise, uh, this week could also be accompanied by a lot of confrontations, uh, scandals at a certain point. I mean, interactions which are uh, supported by a, a huge portion of temper. And usually when we're talking about relationships in that fact, these relationships are real treasures for um, <clears throat> reigniting back a passion within. Because, you know, if you are... Um, agitated about a certain statement of your partner or of your friend or of your boss that means that you care I mean you care you are not indifferent about the situation and about the person that stays that stands ahead and uh, same goes vice versa so um, if there is a, a lot of temper within your relationship either friendships or intimate relationships or even co-worker relationships, that means that these people, they give a shit about you. I mean, they, they really care, uh, are you feeling well, or are you feeling unwell, you know, um, how you are to approach situations, etc., etc. The strength card here points, uh, just to summarize, is that this week for you is going to be doubled with colors. <clears throat> 
and you need to have a huge portion of enthusiasm within and also the vital strength within to uh, kind of experience all those colors which also speaks that there will be ups and downs you know but um, I mean uh, this is uh, this is something kind of like trivial and uh, every single situation in our lives has its ups and downs and the core of the situation here this is going to be the uh, five of pentacles very peculiar that this card it is popping up here and that kind of is, is a sense of emergency this is what this card is pointing because uh, the core of the situation will be that you are realizing that this certain uh, thing that you are attending with enthusiasm and you are making it a devotion of yours uh, it, you are doing it so because you are realizing that that thing is slipping away either your relationship is slipping away either a friendship of yours is slipping, uh, is slipping away uh, either a, a, a project of your work etc etc and what happens here is that you are going to recognize that it is slipping away because you have uh, by a two fundamental reasons either because you thought that this is something granted or either because you kind of left it unattended which also is a prerequisite of the, of the first reason because we um, we stop attending specific things like relationships or projects because we kind of accept them as granted therefore this will create a little bit of a fear and uncertainty within you that you, that you may lose that thing as a, a partner in life as a partner into career or failure of a project etc etc and this is just a inner emotion here not that this project or this relationship is going into ruin but you will feel it that way and it, it owes and this is all that it counts for you to kind of focus more with more enthusiasm with more tempo with more um, <clears throat> passion just to show that these people or these um, situations in general they are relevant and they are something that you give a crap about you know and you will not be happy if they no longer persist in your life the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments here that will be the ten of wands so the ten of wands is about establishing an, an ultimate control and uh, there is a, a very thin line in between the ten of wands and the emperor because the, these both cards are about establishing control but with the with the ten of wands it is more like being how can i place it be more bruisey being more uh, tenacious uh, being more unyielding about your approach you know about your standpoints and also the ten of wands points that you have to kind of succumb to a certain rules and to a certain code of conduct which you are going to find very difficult to do so not because goes against your beliefs but because goes against your ego unfortunately here with the strength card and you need to find a the strength within you to persevere here and to make to make even the slightest compromise it all it takes here the slightest compromise so it is one thing that you will acknowledge that you do give a crap about your relationship or your career but it is entirely different thing that your partner in love or your boss sees the same thing and the best way to make one someone see that you do give a crap about them is by you making compromise for them and kind of like making their existence a little bit more comfortable and please them in certain way i mean uh, and in this act of pleasing doesn't have to be something which displeases you i mean there there could be very well something which are all, as well pleases you either for example in relationship that could be sex you know it's just the first thing that comes in my mind but <clears throat> yeah i mean you need to show to, to these people that you don't want them out of your life that you do care about it and you have to attend to the um, cumulative uh, undertakings here with a little bit more passion that you than you are doing at this very moment and um uh, by the way, one more thing I want to say about the Ten of Wands, you need to realize that you cannot control 
the hundred percent of the situation here otherwise this is not going to be a fair and coexistence it's going to be a tyranny therefore that should never be your goal to have to establish a full control upon it because there is one thing that this happen if you do so guys i mean that will traverse it into a very annoying routine not for you but for the other person and you don't want a robot next to you you want someone who actually matters someone who has its own opinion someone that you can enjoy being with otherwise it is best for you to be with yourself only anyway uh, the last card here that we do have this is going to be the knight of swords which is the guidance uh, of um, of you and the guidance is that you need to kind of aim for more personal independence yours and to your projects and to these people that you are tackling with and that is uh, also here as i uh, as i explained but, but with different sentences uh, in the ten of wands also the knights of swords um, advises you to be more swift with your decisions when it comes to taking them because no one is going to wait you for it for eternity here and after all they are not asking you to do rocket science here they are asking you to decide very simple question uh, for example uh, should you stay into a relationship or should you not stay into the relationship is this important to you or is this not important to you are you going to attend to the project or are you not going to attend to the project these kind of a questions you will have to decide uh, to decide upon which requires say, a very very swift um, decision and they are not exactly very complex as well so uh, what also the card advises you here is to remember what the rules of the game are and if you kind of forgot it will be a good for you to refresh them in your mind and uh, when it comes to decisions here guys it will be very um, potent for your behalf to not go um, against yourself and decide against your emotional needs because that decision will not serve you at all and will not serve anybody for that matter it's just this is why you have to make it swift because you already kind of feel what needs to be done and how you have to decide there is no point thinking about it way too much i mean you just you know say what you feel uh, or d decide based on what you feel so that was the tarot reading here now let's see what the Lenormand reading has to say for you cancers Now the Lenormand reading is going to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. <clears throat> One second. All right. So uh, let's see what we do have here. That is going to be the first one is the rider. The rider sets for information, news, innovation, and um, surprise. The next card that we do have, this is going to be the bear. The bear sits for authority, it sits for abundance, it sits for power, it sits for uh, head strong, and it sits for matu uh, maturity as well, I mean motherhood. And then the next one, this is going to be the gentleman, which sits for a man. So, uh, I cannot really define the event just from these uh, three cards here, but definitely uh, if I have to make sense of them in a very practical way, I would have said that a, uh, a surprise will come from a powerful man here. So that could be your boss making you a surprise, which will not surprise me at all, giving you a devotion to work upon, seeing that you are trying to consolidate your work, you know, realizing that your work is a little bit rusted at this very moment. Five of Pentacles, what we said, that you are not attending it as you could have, you know, <clears throat> or it could be surprised from your boyfriend, for example, I'm saying boyfriend because um, we do have a male here, uh, or from a friend of yours as well, but this is a, a person of authority, this is a, a person that can truly give you ways, open your doors, and present you with opportunity to prove yourself and after the proving of course you know um, reap the fruits of a certain labor that will be a very well paid or rewarded in general so cancers that was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for october 8 to october 14 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, 
Again, remember that this was just a general reading for the Cancer star sign. This was not your personal reading. Therefore, I have explained you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the position, but it forced you guys to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want specific cards for your personal situation to be interpreted, you know, by me and to be made sense of, by me as well. Uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.